Hello and welcome to Falcon Delicious. This is our very first episode and we're very excited. This is Fanshawe's only cooking show, uh, made for students, by students. I'm your host, Philip Wiseman, and today we have our in-house chef, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Thank you very much Not a problem. for uh, cooking for us today. So uh, what are you starting us off with today? Well, today we are going to do what's called a chicken and rice soup. It's basically like your chicken noodle, uh, minus some noodles, added some rice. Very, uh, very basic and pretty healthy. What, what uh, kind of heat are we talking about? Uh, we're going to start off on about a medium heat. Sounds good. Uh, we're going to just let that heat up for a second, and then uh, you're going to want to start off with a little bit of butter. My favorite. <laughs> butter makes everything taste Why do we start the, the dish with some butter? Uh, well, you want some fat for the vegetables to kind of uh, cook in to gain some flavor. And I'm going to add uh, my vegetables, uh, which is called a mirepoix, just basically onions, carrot, and celery. So we'll go uh, a little handful of that in there. All right. You want to be able to hear that sizzle? Oh, yeah. So why would you choose to do uh, a rice soup rather than a noodle soup? Uh, there's just less carbohydrates in rice than there is in noodles. Thus, making it a little bit more, more healthy. More student-friendly, yeah. more healthy-friendly. That's and great. And we know all the students have rice in their house. Okay, uh, at this point, I am going to add a little bit of garlic into here. Because garlic is nice. It makes everything delicious. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit, back to about a medium heat. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And those are sizzling nicely. I'm going to add a little touch of white wine. You guys will be able to smell that. Oh, that's great. That really brought the flavors into the room. <laughs> yeah, this, this will add nicely to the flavor of the dish. OK, now you can, uh, you can smell that the booze has been cooked out of the wine. Uh, and then that's our cue to add the stock in, which I have beside it. And you said that's a uh, chicken stock. Yes, this is a chicken stock. How do you create a, a chicken stock? Or do you get it already um, pre-made? Or how does that work? Uh, if you're a student and you want it real quick, you can go to the grocery store, you can buy these little bouillon cubes, which are basically like stock in powder form. Pot of boiling water, throw it in, you got some stock. It's a good way to get rid of leftovers. So if you say uh, Thanksgiving was oh. this past weekend, and you have leftover turkey and potatoes and carrots and all that kind of fun stuff, you just can all just kind of throw it into a soup and then you've got another meal. At this and point, this we're going to add the chicken and the tomato. Okay. So, uh, so uh, if you weren't bit. just using leftovers, how much do you think a, a meal like this would cost you? Uh, a meal like this, I would say um, anywhere from three to four dollars. The, uh, the expensive stuff is the chicken, yeah. um, but for the most part, usually you're using something that's leftovers. Some, sometimes you know, like leftovers. You've got, yeah. You know, you had chicken the night before. You can cut it up, and then you, you got soup for the next day. I'm gonna add some flavors into it. Um, well, I've got some thyme here, which I'm just going to throw that sprig right in there and kind of let the, uh, the liquid kind of soak all the flavor of the thyme out, uh, as well as some bay leaves. Just turn that right down, and I'm going to add some rice in here. All right, all right so uh, who's ready to try it? I know I am. <laughs> I'm just going to throw a little bit of... Uh, Time sprig in there. Just gonna work your way around that uh, time sprig there. This guy. Mm. That's Falcon Delicious. Well, thank you for joining us on this episode. Join us next time for uh, a mixed green salad. You don't want to miss it.